for those of you who are parents, you understand that nothing is worse than walking through your living room and stepping on something that's been left out on the floor. I like to call this the mental health tidy, but the concept is that you take time to clean up your left out emotions. Nothing is worse than walking into your living room where your um, daily life occurs and tripping over or stepping on something that you just know someone didn't leave, someone didn't clean up. So the same is true for our feelings. We interact on a daily basis with so many people. We interact with our immediate families, our extended families, the community, our work, our relationships, our friends. And because of our cell phones, because of our computers, we interact with even more layers of relationships and people on an everyday basis. Our happiness, our joy, our uh, frustration, our anger, our exhaustion, our confusion, um, our anxieties, our jealousies, our fears, and our worries all become exposed each time that we interact with someone and they touch on a, um, an emotion that's inside of us. And if we don't take the time to put those feelings away, put those emotions away, you know, kind of tidy up from our interactions and our relationships, then we leave those things out. And someone unexpectedly can step on that and, or trip over it and create um, emotional pain and suffering. This is a very important concept to take the time to take responsibility for your emotions and cleaning them up every day. And I'll like to, I want to walk you through a meditation that would help you do that. So I use essential oils. I use Young Living because they are the, um, the purest that I have found. Um, they have the highest quality and standards. And my favorite Young Living essential oil is Northern Lights Black Spruce. Um, it is high in what they call sesquiterpenes. So it's very good for calming the brain. It is my favorite oil. So that's the one I'm using today. And um, when I meditate with an essential oil, I just take a drop in my hand. When I do my therapy practice, I also do this with clients uh, because I trust Young Living and their quality and standards. I don't feel um, I don't feel any cautions about sharing them with clients if clients are comfortable with that. So I rotate the oil. This is very self-soothing and relaxing, using the concept of self-touch and self-soothing and self-care. Rotate the oil and I begin to deep breathe. Deep breathe. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Reducing the heart rate, re reducing feelings of fear and worry, feeling all of the tension just slip from my body. Move down, down into the floor and releasing them. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Three, two, one. Each breath getting deeper, each breath holding longer. Breathe in. Three, two, one. Imagine your life like your home. Your daily interactions occur in your living room. Take a time to assess your living room. Look around, see what is amiss. Look for what's left out. Look for the status, observe. Don't criticize, take the time to simply notice. Notice the condition of your living room. Are your shades raised or lowered? Is your living room neat and tidy or is it a mess? Are there toys and things scattered all over the floor? Think of your life 
as you would a living girl. Take time to look around and see what emotions are left out. Is your frustration or anger present? Or do you feel joy or happiness? Are you feeling isolated or fearful? Are you feeling alone or empty? Look around your living room. Take notice. Make sure you're not criticizing yourself for the condition of your living room. Remembering you are a person. Take time to simply notice. Breathe in. Look around your living room. If you feel that your living room is in too much disarray and it would take you all day to clean up every emotion, simply find one. One thing. Is it your resentment? Is it your sadness? Take one emotion and clean it up. Put it away. Take time to say, I will put away my frustration. I will put away my insecurity. I will put away my confusion. Take time and simply put one emotion away and see how you feel. Breathe in. This only needs to take a few minutes to simply notice something is amiss in your living room, something is left out, and put it away. When you put it away, tell yourself, I will deal with my resentment later. I will take time to focus on what I need later. Make that commitment to yourself to come back and process that feeling on a deeper le level later. But don't leave it out in your living room. Make sure that your daily interactions occur in a place where your emotions are nicely and neatly taken care of, where you have taken responsibility for what goes on in your living room. Breathe in. Breathe out. Remember again, we're not judging or criticizing. We're not here to condemn your living room for the state that it's in. We are simply observing and finding one thing that we could do to make it a little bit more safe for those people that encounter you on a daily basis. This is a very simple exercise. You can do this at any point in your day. If you notice that you're dealing with specific feelings, then that's a good time to take a moment, get comfortable, use an essential oil and breathe. And then find the internal strength to take responsibility for the emotion that's left out because so often we contaminate our day and our relationships with the outside world because of unresolved emotions that are left out there for people to trip on it might be the anger from an argument with your child the night before or a dis disappointment from work or a frustration with your significant other but if you leave that feeling out on the floor, like a broken toy or a Lego, then it's very simple for someone to step on it and to rekindle all of that anger again. And then you're taking out your frustrations and your negative emotions and you're poisoning other relationships in your life. 
We have a right to our feelings, but we also have a responsibility to them. So take time each day to do a mental health tidy. Look around your living room. Don't judge, don't criticize, but take responsibility and clean it up one emotion at a time. I hope this meditation was helpful for you. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button and follow me on YouTube at Tara Nichols.